Tell me one good reason why I should try continuing to fight it What's up mga kuya and welcome back to the Tiki Game. So today we have the brand new Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. So sobrang excited ko kasi this is the first smartphone that I actually bought with my own hard-earned money. So very nice, very nice. Pasensya ako, I was able to buy this at the Lazada 66 sale for only 71 mga kuya. 7150 actually. Maraming salamat of course. Shoutout sa mga vouchers. <laughs> and yeah, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the brand new Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. So sa mga hindi po nakakaalam mga kuya, may bago na pong lineup of uh, Redmi Note devices ang Xiaomi. Ito yung parang pinaka budget option for 7990 ngayon, which is the MSRP. We also have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S and then the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro. So yeah, let's begin with the unboxing and give you guys my first impressions. And what I bought nga pala mga kuya is the forest green option with the 3 gigs of memory and 64 gigs of storage. Of course, this also has a 4 gig, 128 gig variant but of course, um, that costs 10,000 pesos and this is what most people will probably buy. But I wish Xiaomi could have gone for uh, 4 gig and 64 gigs on the base variant and then 6 gigs and 128 gigs for the higher end variant. So the package includes the phone itself, the charging adapter, charging cable, USB Type-C, SIM ejector tool, a soft case, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. So we have Redmi Note 9 with easy access to the Google apps you use most written here on the right side, same on the left side, and then nothing on the top side. Okay, so this most likely contains the um, soft case. And we have the SIM ejector tool. Yep, the soft TPU case with the user guide and warranty card. So there's your usual books and shits and I'm just gonna put that on the side. And inside this is the soft clear TPU case. And yeah, just something to protect your phone. And the extra detail that I like here is that there's actually a cover for the USB Type-C port. So I'm just gonna put that to the side also. And here we have the phone itself. So let's see what's inside the packaging first. So I'm just gonna put the phone to the side and then, yeah. There we have, I'm not sure if this is a fast charging brick, uh, most likely it's not. So we have a type A plug on the charger itself and then uh, looks like a <laughs> European plug, so yeah. Okay, so to my surprise, we have a quick charge 3.0 logo if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, I can't see it through the lens of my camera. So we have uh, 5 volts, 3 amps, so 15 watts, and 9 volts and 2.23 amps for 20 watts and uh, 12 volt and 1.67 amps for 20 watts also and finally 10 volts and 2.25 amps for a max output of 22.5 watts so that's very nice i didn't think that xiaomi would actually include this type of charger but that's uh, very nice and of course finally we have the type c to type a cable so yeah, that's pretty much what's in the box and let's get on with the phone. So basically the Redmi Note series is Xiaomi's a lineup of mid-range smartphones but with the recent years, uh, they don't actually perform like um, mid-range smartphones. So we have AI quad camera, a 48 megapixel main sensor, uh, 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. So a 5000 mAh battery, 6.5 inch full HD display with Corning Gorilla Glass 5, and uh, a Helio MediaTek uh, MediaTek Helio G85 which is an octa-core processor paired with the Mali G52 GPU so I'm just gonna remove the plastic cover real quick very nice, very nice Ingat lang of course, yung mga bagsak to. and something that's actually really unusual for a budget smartphone these days is a hole punch uh, for the front facing camera so that's very nice and it does look like we have a pre-installed plastic screen protector which i'm going to remove in a little bit just gonna remove this sticker and surprisingly this actually has a plastic body uh, main frame yeah i'm actually surprised i thought this was a glass back but yeah it's only plastic made to look like glass so yeah so again this is the forest green color option but uh, uh, through the lens of my camera it actually looks like the gray bluish option um, so there's also uh, yeah that gray bluish version and a pearl white option so we have the redmi branding here the rear mounted fingerprint scanner the quad camera setup the led flash and yeah the 6.53 inch display so yeah the right side we have the um, 
Yeah, I don't like the quality so far of the um, power button and the volume rockers. And then we have the SIM tray here at the left side. And what I like about Xiaomi smartphones is that they still have that IR blaster for controlling your appliances, your TVs, um, air conditioners, whatever. We have a single microphone at the top and then at the bottom we have the USB Type-C charging port. So um, this is actually the first smartphone, my first smartphone, which has USB Type-C. So that's a very nice uh, 3.5mm headphone jack, the main microphone, and then a single bottom firing speaker. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the outside. And of course, being the Xiaomi fanboy that I am, I actually like the design. But of course, that's subjective as uh, some people might not like it. But uh, yeah, that's basically the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. So we're just going to see if there's actually power here. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the plastic screen protector. Don't like that shit. So we have MIUI 11 on top of Android 10. And here are the specs. Of course, I don't want to uh, make this video too long. So you guys can just pause the video. So we are connected to our Wi-Fi network. And then, uh, and this is how the hole punch looks on the front facing 13 megapixel camera. So yeah, for now, I'm just gonna set up the phone, uh, take a quick pictures, and then uh, test out the performance and get back to you guys in a bit. One hour later. At nagbabalik na nga po tayo mga kuya. So yeah, um, here we are with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. Kita ang kita nyo naman na ito, a fingerprint magnet. Uh, take note that this is not a glass back. This is uh, plastic uh, for the main body of the phone. So the user experience and performance has been smooth so far. I haven't had any major hiccups or um, stutters here and there in the software um, as you would expect from something that I just unboxed. So I actually went ahead and installed um, PUBG Mobile and uh, since uh, a lot of you actually asked for this, um, Mobile Legends, um, to test out the gaming performance. But first we'll get into the fingerprint scanner. So I have my uh, index finger registered to the rear mounted fingerprint scanner and so of course it's not the fastest but it's uh, quick for the most part and it's uh, really accurate so uh, this would unlock your phone 9 out of 10 times so uh, yeah really happy with the fingerprint scanner for the price and here's a quick speaker test speaker the single bottom firing speaker is loud and clear for the most part and uh, quality is actually better compared to my realme c3 so yeah and take note guys again that the variant that i have that i bought only has three gigs of memory so if you're someone who multitask a lot then i would definitely end up for the 4 gig 128 gig variant of this but for the most part i haven't had any major issues with this and uh, yeah of course i'll be updating you guys in my uh, review after two weeks and regarding the image quality of the cameras so here are a few test shots and of course i won't be giving my verdict yet so that's uh, on my full review And for the gaming test. And another thing, hapala mga kuya, the wall charger that came with this actually does support uh, fast charging or quick charging. So as you can see, the gaming performance is smooth for the most part. Yeah, I'm just gonna lower the volume a little. So as you would expect from a mid-range spec phone and uh, processor, uh, gaming performance is really good. And here are the settings by the way, Makoya. So wait lang po, pakita ko nga lang po kung ganong ka-smooth. Very nice of course, very nice. So here in the graphic settings, Makoya, we have HD, uh, high, gra high frame rate enabled, uh, anti-aliasing enabled, and shadows enabled. And uh, yeah.
And next up, we have Mobile Legends mga kuya. So here is the tutorial of Mobile Legends mga kuya. Um, di nga ulit ako naglalaro na ito. And uh, ayun, demo nga lang nung uh, gameplay performance sa uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. And uh, I can actually confidently say right now na you don't need uh, the Redmi Note 9S or the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Um, of course, uh, I've been using it for uh, a short while. And... Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I can easily recommend this right now even though I just unboxed it. And uh, yeah, it's really impressive, really good stuff from Xiaomi again. And uh, yeah, of course, again, I'm a Xiaomi fanboy, so take what I say with a grain of salt, maui, but di mo So ayan nga, um, here is the gaming performance of uh, Mobile Legends on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. So one small detail that I really like with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 uh, regarding the SIM card tray. So the outer part of the SIM card tray actually has a rubber seal around it, so that's uh, very nice of course. Uh, again, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 is uh, splash resistant. Even though this has no IP certification, it's still nice to see this uh, touch on the uh, SIM card tray. So uh, yeah, for a peace of mind that you can actually use this uh, in the rain or in the shower, but of course not use it underwater. And some of you mga kuya, may actually be concerned of the notch, the notch on the left side of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. But actually in the display settings, you can actually hide it if you want of course. So we have, uh, of course, uh, you can see the notch right now with the notifications. Uh, if you want, you can black out the notifications area. And uh, for the most part, if you're using it, then you won't be able to see the notch as you can see. So when you're using an app or watching videos, then you won't be able to see that. Uh, the notch and you actually have another option to black out the entire upper part of the screen where the notch is so your notifications area will be lowered to here so yeah a bunch of good options uh, to hide the notch if you are not a fan of that but for the most part you don't really need to do that mga kuya kasi uh, when you're playing games or watching videos then you'll most likely be in the um, landscape orientation where your uh, left hand will uh, most probably um, block that part. So uh, yeah, but since I'm new to this to the notch, I actually found it disturbing um, as long as I'm in portrait orientation. But of course, when I'm playing games or uh, watching videos again in landscape orientation, then uh, my uh, left hand is, uh, parts of my left hand is blocking it for the most part. But then again, you guys have the option to hide the notch completely. I mean, the whole punch for the front facing camera. So yeah. And regarding the display itself, so it actually looks really good. It might be a bit uh, saturated, um, over saturated a bit. But for the most part, the display is sharp and vibrant for the most part and uh, has a max brightness of 450 nits. So yeah, uh, easily viewable outdoors as I've tested and yeah. And again, opening and closing apps, um, switching between apps has been pretty smooth for the most part. And regarding build quality, so the phone actually feels solid for the most part even though this is a plastic back. Um, it actually doesn't feel like plastic to be honest and uh, it's not that slippery compared to actual glass even though this does have a glossy finish to it. And yeah, that's gonna do it mga kuya, for my unboxing and first impressions of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. Hope you liked it. Again, stay tuned for my full review of this after 2 weeks. So if you're new to the channel, uh, of course subscribe and uh, turn on notifications to be updated on my latest videos. Leave a like if you did, dislike if you feel like you have to. As always mga kuya, use my Lazada affiliate link when you're buying at Lazada. Zada, and donate to my PayPal to support the channel. Like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for other updates and announcements. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!